Yeah then, so we're going to make this a quick one and it's not going to have much stuff in it because I'm going back to start my course tomorrow. So, first up, we are going to be making a menu today and to do that we're first going to bind the menu button which will be UI underscore menu. Uh, we're going to bind that to the key tab for me. You can bind it to whatever you want. Uh, and then nice origin get out of there <laughs> um, and then we're going to do our script so first off we want to rename pressed to interact uh, this is so that we can have another input pressed is rather vague um, so control r and we're going to rename pressed space to interact Space. Replace all. There's one more place that we have to replace, and that's over here. Because there's no space after that one. Uh, next up, we want to add a new variable called uh, menu, and that'll be false, and that'll basically be the same as uh, interact in the way that for one frame only, it will be active. Uh, so UI menu and at the end next to interact equals false we want to set menu to false uh, next up check the input we're going to check it here if menu and not interact because we don't want the player to press both at once and open a dialog box and a menu then this is where we are this is where our menu equals shown or whatever code goes. So for our menu, we're going to create a new scene. Uh, we're going to go to sprites. So you can go to the description and download this sprite here. Uh, remember to set a bitmap and filter off and this sprite do the same. Uh, we're going to add a patch nine frame. And we're going to call that menu going to have this texture to it and it's going to be 8 pixels by 8 pixels by 8 pixels by 8 pixels and its size will be 5582 by 82 oops Fifty five by 82 uh, next up we want to add a sprite to this and that will be the arrow oops 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 arrow and we're going to put that here shrink it down uh, then we're going to make a node 2d and we're going to call this um, just labels gonna match its scale and position and in labels we're gonna have labels not uh rich text labels just normal labels so first one we want pokedex um rename this to also be i realize it has an accented e but uh I don't have it on my clipboard <laughs> and I don't know the code for it. Set the font color to something light gray and set the shadow color to something of a darker gray. Uh, the font will be a font here. Uh, the scale will be 0 0.2, the same as our cameras. Mm. Um, and let's stretch it out to match that. And then we just want to duplicate that for all of them. Okay, move down. Name this uh, Pokemon. And this to Pokemon. Uh, duplicate that again. Move it down. 
change this to bag. Oh, and this to bag. Duplicate, move down. Control D is duplicate. Uh, we're going to call this Pokey Gear. And this Pokey Duplicate, move down. Name this player. And this will be what the name of our player, but we don't have getting the name or anything yet. Okay, have this be save. Rename this to save. Duplicate. Uh, options. And name this options. And finally, exit. Uh, then oh, rescale your menu to match that. Uh, move it a bit up. And the labels, I think it has to stay the same or resize here. So, yeah, uh, you might want to resize your sprite a bit. Hold shift. Oh. Move this over here. Uh, maybe you want to shrink the width of this as well. There we go. Um, and this is our menu. Save it as menu.tsn and you can add it to your camera 2D link menu. Place that somewhere nice. Set it to be not visible. Oops. Okay. Um so our menu is no longer visible. Now we can set it to visible. Uh, in the form of a menu script. Script, just call that menu.gd. And, okay. So, first up, we're going to declare some variables. Menu is our first form. It'll be false. This is if the menu button's pressed. Uh, open, this is if the menu's open. Um, we'll leave it at that for now. Next up, set process unhandled key input to true and set fixed process to true. And next up, func fixed process. And if the window is open, uh, this is where our window control code will be, but we're not doing that this time. Uh, then if the menu is open, uh, set hidden, I mean if menu is pressed, so if the player closes the menu, head set hidden to true, uh, get node slash root slash world slash player uh, dot can move equals true and open equals false at the end of here we want to set menu to false as well next up we have our inputs so func unhandled input event if open so only check it for inputs if it's open if key event dot is action pressed and we're looking for ui underscore menu uh we'll set menu to true lf e underscore event dot is action released ui menu will be menu false 
And finally, we want to make our own function called func underscore open menu. And this can be called from our player class. So when uh, open menu is called, we want to make the player not move and set this to visible. Uh, set hidden to false. Get node player root slash oh, let root slash world slash player dot can move equals false menu equals false open equals true okay and that should be it have a go uh, Yeah, we forgot to add the open to this. So let's do that now. So we just want to call the uh, open, the open menu. So get node camera to D slash menu dot underscore open underscore menu. And that's it. Oh, that should be unhandled key input, and that should be key event. Tab opened it, tab closed it. Simple as that. Uh, we're going to add m menu controls, and we can't move on in the menu. And I will, and we're going with, and we can't open them menu now because interact is equal to true okay that's it now uh, see you whenever because i'm starting my course tomorrow and making stuff will be more difficult from here on out uh, for the very least it'll be once a week so see ya